lovely creatives. My name is Irene and I am an artist. I work a lot in sketchbooks and today I have a special treat for you. I completed this sketchbook. This is my Lime and Wash watercolor sketchbook. We're going to go through it and I'll tell you exactly what I did and how I put things together. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. You will find lots of art content here, painting tutorials, sketchbook pages, drawing classes and lots more. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and I really hope to see you around soon. This is a sketchbook that I have almost finished. So that sketchbook tour will be coming up some point next week, I think. I have ooh, two pages left and then it's full. So that one is going to be the next one, but today we are looking at this v Viva color sketchbook. I bought this sketchbook because I was going to use it for my line and wash course. So the first uh, pictures that I made in the sketchbook are all made uh, during that course. And then I filled it up with more line and wash pictures afterwards. The I'm, I'm really happy with the paper quality actually. So I never used the sketchbook. It was the first time I bought one of these. I was looking for a fairly affordable 100% cotton uh, sketchbook that I could use for uh, line and wash. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think it worked especially good on uh, for more loose sort of colorful paintings. Not so well for fine details because the paper has a lot of texture but I really enjoyed using it and I um, yeah if you like this sort of style I would recommend you uh, yeah I would recommend it to you. It's, it's quite an affordable sketchbook and it's a really nice size as well. So, so let's dive straight in there. You can see that the, um, the the outside lays completely flat and then the inside has a bit of an like extra bit, which is a bit unusual. I've never had a sketchbook that had that, but it worked quite well. And these first pictures were all for my line and wash course. So I uh, really enjoyed doing the really loose, colorful, sort of imaginary watercolors. And I used a mix of different ink pens to combine the watercolors with. So I have used my um, Faber-Castell brush, oh no, sorry, my uh, Pentel brush pen quite a lot for these larger lines and then used some Faber-Castell uh, fine liners for some of the finer uh, lines and artworks in this uh, sketchbook. So I really used a variety of different uh, topics and this is not a sketchbook where I only did portraits or only animals. I really focused on lots of different topics but really wanted to create very colorful um, and loose paintings. So most of these did not take me longer than 15-20 minutes to complete. So that is sort of the average I would say for each of these sessions and yeah as I said these are all uh, classes of my line and wash course. So that's what I used this for. There we go. So I, I think the paper quality is really nice. It's very thick. I think it's 300 GSM, but it feels maybe even a little bit thicker than that. And that means that I could add a lot of water and lots of pigments to the paper without the paper even um, yeah, curving a little bit. It stayed really nice and flat throughout the entire process. So for most of these I edit the lines first and then edit the color after. But there's a few pages such as this one where I edit the paint first and then edit the lines after. So they are a bit more abstract loose pictures. I did use some reference references for some of these but there's also pictures here that I just made for my imagination. Um, there we go. I have had a lot of fun making all of these. This was used from Google Maps. I just looked at the location and then painted from uh, what I was seeing on Google Maps. I think the because the paper is quite rough, these really fine fine liners, like the finished ones, I would say um, are not do not work so well with this type of paper. I prefer the slightly sort of thicker pens and a little bit more, um, yeah, with a little bit more texture. Yeah, so that, that large brush pen is the one that I used most on these pages, and it's actually the one that I enjoyed using most. And uh, these finer lines also look quite nice now I look back on them. 
So, so I think this was the last picture for my course. And then from there on, I started to fill the sketchbook more with my own, um, yeah, with my own sort of artwork that was not used for the course. Although I think some of these I will add as bonus videos to the course as well. This was a little self-portrait that I did, which uh, was a lot of fun to make. And here there's some nudes. I can't help myself. Every sketchbook I have always has some live drawings in there. This one was actually used for a larger painting uh, that you can see behind me over there. So that was sort of my first trial for that shape and then I used it for a larger uh, painting there as well. Another self-portrait. This was a live on YouTube so if you want to paint along with this one uh, you can watch that back live. It's completely just from my imagination. I had a lot of fun making it. Some animals. And here, these are the last few pages where I really wanted to explore some uh, textures and uh, more abstract shapes. So I think this, this sketchbook works brilliant for these more expressive, colorful, loose, uh, abstract shapes. So if that is something that you want to practice, I think I would really, um, yeah, I'd really recommend this sketchbook because it is really brilliant for that. And all the colors come out super vibrant in comparison to some of my other sketchbooks that do not have specific watercolor paper. Um, this sketchbook really worked well with for very vibrant colors. So yeah, that was really nice. I think it's 100% cotton that makes the difference there. I really like this one. I can sort of imagine using this style for some other artworks. I think that, that ink and, uh, and watercolor, yeah, come, works together really lovely. And this is the last page already. So there we go. Um, how many pages must it be? Quite a few. So this is the last page where I wanted to explore sort of um, doing an abstract but within a more specific shape. And then there is a little pocket here where you can add in some extra things that uh, is empty for me. I never really put anything in there because uh, I don't know, I never really do. So that is it. So that was my sketchbook. So as I said, the brand is Viviva. Um, I would recommend it. I think I will buy it again. And uh, it feels really sturdy. I think it's probably a little bit too big for me to take with me sort of when I'm out and about. I like to work on slightly smaller sketchbooks sort of for um, yeah, pictures on the go and out and about. But for sort of exploring colors and just having a lot of fun and doing quick paintings, this was absolutely brilliant and I really enjoyed it. So I do a little time lapse of the, of the flip through again, just to uh, show you every page. And um, yeah, there we go. I need to order myself some new sketchbooks now because the other one is full as well. So I need to get myself some new sketchbooks and then set myself up for, uh, yeah, for filling more sketchbooks. So thank you so much for joining in. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Lots of art tutorials here and um, lots of different workshops. A lot of sketchbook tours, so lots of art inspiration. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being with me. I will see you shortly.